Hey, what's going on? It is James here with Crypto Quick Start. And in this video, I want to talk about protecting profits. So depending on what you're doing with your cryptocurrency, you know, you may or may, may not care about protecting your profits. Uh, of course, everybody wants profits. But if you're just holding your coins for the long term with no intentions of selling them, this video won't really matter for you. If you're somebody, however, that is trading on a regular basis or if you're somebody that is trying to time it so that you can cash your coins out, uh, before a big dip, which by the way can backfire, uh, this video will be interesting. So I, I thought about shooting this, you know, for those of you that follow the channel, you know that I had a bunch of videos that I had to take down, um, you know, accidentally revealed some personal information. So I wanted to start giving back, shooting videos on a regular basis again. And this was a big one because earlier today I left and I went to the gym. And while I was at the gym, uh, one of my stop losses executed. So I thought, hey, that'd be a good topic for today's video. So the way this works is, unfortunately, on, on Bittrex, you cannot place two sell orders at the same time for the same coins, meaning if you have 100 coins and you put in a sell order for 100 coins, you can't put in another one, which is how most exchanges work. It actually reserves the coins. The problem with that is, uh, like, let's say, for example, I had a bunch of to give. I don't. Uh, but let's say I had a bunch of them. Let's say I had 1,000 coins or whatever. And that I wanted to sell it when it got up to, uh, you know, right now it's around 68 Satoshis. Let's say I wanted to sell it at 100 Satoshis, okay? So I could put that order in and no problem, it's in there. But what happens if I'm sleeping or I'm away from the desk and all of a sudden it starts to drop? Maybe I want to hold it. Fine, no big deal. But maybe if it drops below 65 Satoshis, I want to sell it, okay? You can't do both, unfortunately. So what I do is if I'm going to be leaving the desk for an extended period of time, and I don't think it's going to reach my sell target before I come back to the desk, you know, I can set a stop loss. And that's something that happened earlier on OMG, for example. So I had some OMG, you know, I'm holding some OMG for the future, but I also had some OMG that I was actually trading that I bought yesterday with the intention of selling. So I wanted to sell it for $9. Unfortunately, it was around $8.47 and I needed to go to the gym. So what I did was I came in here and I said, okay, I'm gonna sell you know XYZ, let's say I had 100 coins, and I, ch I can change this from limit to conditional, all right? And then I can change this from less than or equal to. So if the coin drops below X percent, so let's say like on to give, if it drops below 0 0.00000065, then I want to sell it for 0.00000062, right? Whatever. And this is what happened on OMG. I put in the order and I said, hey, look, if the price drops below $8.40, it was like $8.47 at the time, sell it for $8.25, okay? So the reason I said $8.25 instead of $8.40 is because I didn't know how low it would drop. Sometimes it, you know, wicks down. But just because you say you're going to sell the coin for 825 doesn't mean that you'll sell for 825 If there are market orders sitting there for, for more than that, those orders will fill. So what happened was the coin fell down to like 839 It triggered my stop loss and it sold the OMG for $8.39. Not 825 but 839 So when I got back home from the gym, OMG was all the way down to 825 but my order had executed and I had protected those profits, right? Because I bought it $7.40. So even though I didn't get all the way to the $9 mark, it's cool, it's fine. It sold for you know eight thirty-nine. dollars uh, That's almost a dollar per coin. Um, that's a pretty good lick. So it's a neat little feature. I haven't really used it a whole lot up until uh, just a couple of days ago. Um, one of the folks that's in my paid newsletter actually showed this to me and I had never seen it. Um, and at first we thought it was like a regular stop loss. And so like I was putting in here, you know, if it gets, you know, above this, sell for this, it's not really a regular stop loss. It's, it's more like a conditional thing, which, hey, imagine that it's called conditional, right? Um, so pretty cool though. Um, it saved me some money, um, allowed me to sell without being here. And that was, uh, came in pretty handy. So just thought I'd share that with you. If you, you know, are gonna be leaving your desk and you're worried about a coin dropping, you know, below a certain point, that might be a great way to lock in those profits. And of course, once you come back to the desk, you can always cancel that order and put your other order back in for the higher amount if you choose to. All right. As always, guys, please remember that I'm not a financial advisor. I am not an investment advisor. I am some guy sitting in a spare bedroom who happened to be in the right place, the right time with cryptocurrency. All right. So always do your due diligence. 
always, always, always be sure that you're only investing money that you can actually afford to lose and uh, always seek professional investment advice before making any type of investment. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and feel free to come hang out with myself and about 2,400 other cryptocurrency enthusiasts. We have a Facebook group where we share openly with each other. It's a free group. Uh, there's nothing being shoved down your throat, no affiliate programs, nothing like that. All right, so it'll be in the description. If you decide to come check it out, you're very welcome. And other than that, thanks for checking out the video. Have an awesome day.